Okay, this video is to go over norm magnitude and arguments of a complex number. So first of all, the norm is, well, let's actually let um, z be a complex number, which is x plus y i. So for example, um, let's take a look at maybe, I don't know, 3 minus 2i. Okay, let z be, for example, um, conjugate is going to be what? You just flip the imaginary part. So it's going to be 3 plus... 2i. Norm is you take the real number uh, 3, square them, and then add to square of the other one, the other part. So you just take this guy 3 and also you actually take negative 2. So it should be negative, which doesn't make any change. So 3 squared plus um, negative 2 squared, that equals 9 plus 4, which is 13. So the norm of this complex number 3 minus 2i is 13. Magnitude is the distance. So um, let's actually graph it first. So 3 and negative 2i is going to be at, you go to 3 to the right and 2 down. So we can... So we can plot the point. 3, 2 represents the, oops, no, 3 and negative 2. Oh, no, 3 and negative 2. So these guys are not right. So this po point right there, 3, negative 2, represents in a complex plane, it represents 3, negative 2i. So the x-axis of the coordinate plane, we call it real axis in complex plane. So this number represents real number, and the vertical axis, we call it imaginary uh, axis. So instead of having 2, 4, 6, or whatever the number, negative 2, that's negative, that represents negative 2i, negative 4i, uh, 2i, 3i, so those are the imaginary axis. So anyways, the magnitude is the distance from the origin to the point. So if you think about it, if you, if you look at it, you'll see right triangle. Then we can use Pythagorean theorem, which is uh, take the rise and around, square them and add them and take a square root, which is just simply a square root of the norm, so which is 13, okay? And the argument is, this is the tricky one, it is the um, direction. So starting from the units, um, unit point, which is 1, 0, the point A, how many angles, how much angles do you, do you travel? So in other words, um, in degrees, it could be 30 degrees, that's going to be on the quadrant 1, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and then 60 degrees and 90 degrees, and then 120 degrees, 180 degrees, and so on and so forth. Right? Uh, we can also represent the angle measures in radian, which we're going to use more often. So before we go to argument, let's just look at um, these conjugate norm and magnitude. So the conjugate in general, so instead of 3 minus 2i, uh, let's put general form which is x plus yi, and the conjugate is just simply flip the sign for the imaginary part. And then the norm will be take the x, square them, take the y, square them, and add them. 
So that's the norm, and we use n parentheses z as notation. By the way, conjugate, we use the notation uh, over bar uh, z. So those are the notation, and the magnitude is we use um, absolute value sign, so absolute value of z, which equals, we, we actually read it as magnitude of z, is the norm of z, which is simply square root of x squared plus y squared. Um, this is just nothing but the distance formula. So the argument is the kind of uh, the hard part. Not really hard, but you really have to look at the rise and run. So if you look at the rise and run right here in this problem, rise is negative 2, run is 3. So the slope is, what was it? Negative 2 over 3 which we know that the slope is the same as tangent alpha and if you take that equation and if we solve for alpha we have to take inverse of tangent So inverse tangent of uh, negative two third, which is what? Let's take calculator. So what is the inverse of negative two-third? It's negative 0 0.588. So that's negative 0 0.588. But if you look at this, the distance of distance that we want to know is starting from starting from uh, positive real axis or the starting point, standard position, we just want to know how many degrees or radian that we need to go around, go around the circle to get to that point, right? And the problem is it gives me negative 5.8, negative 0.588 that's the distance gap that actually going backwards from here to here. So we know that, so negative 5.88 is like what? I don't know, 30 degrees? So it's, it, it's almost the same thing as telling us that negative uh, 30 degrees, that tells me that it goes backwards. So if it says negative 30 degrees, what do you do? You subtract from 360 degrees to get the to get the positive kind of standard degrees. So if you look at this, we're going to do the same thing. Instead of subtracting from 360s, we subtract it from 2 pi, which is 6.28-ish, and then we're going to subtract 0.588. So the answer will be Five point six nine two. So it's gonna be about five point eight six two two six nine two ish radian. So instead of um, looking at that as degrees, we can look at it as we can use the radians.